Welcome back, everybody. We have Missy Cedarholm joining us from the Kamloops Blazers, of course, and here in her Blazers gear to talk all about <laughs> what's coming up over the next little while. And we, I love our little check-ins with you, Missy, because, you know, we, we hear so much about the game. We see the highlights, of course, on our newscast as we did today, and which was fantastic last night's game. But going getting into the fan experience or the fans' experience is sort of uh, your wheelhouse. So I love checking in with you just to see what's coming up. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate getting to come on and, yeah. and just let fans know what's coming up. Uh, we've got lots of games on the go and and hopefully it's exciting for fans to come into the building and yeah. it's not just about hockey. That's a really important part of it, of course, but there's more to it than just that. There is. It's the experience of being there as well while Absolutely. you're watching the game and, and walking around the concourse and whatever it might be. So coming up, so um, the 26th, October 26th is when we're hosting Moose Jaw, right? It is, yes. So what's happening on that day for everybody who attends? It's a six o'clock game again. Every Saturday is six o'clock. I like and that. And it is Kamloops Minor Hockey Night. So Kamloops minor hockey teams uh, are receiving tickets courtesy of our community commitment program sponsors. Mm -hmm. And we've got over 30 teams that will be in attendance. Hopefully they'll be wearing their jerseys. Mm -hmm. They'll be easy to pick out in the crowd. They always bring so much energy and excitement yes. to the game, which is really nice. It, it really gives our crowd a full um, a full feeling and yeah. they're loud they're excited to cheer on the team they probably so. pump up the players too because they're so excited right and I'm they, sure that they I do I mean they're kids and they're they're too playing hockey so you know it, they yeah. get really into it yeah they're there with their team they're having a good time it's a night out for them yeah parents get to sit back and hopefully enjoy the game <laughs> a little bit because they're all together in one spot yeah but the chaos <laughs> lots of chaos lots of excitement it'll be fun for sure okay so some of the things that are happening on uh, Kamloops Minor Hockey Night is there I know that um, you know coming up to Halloween there's also an opportunity to wear costume as well is that happening on the same night or will you be doing that on a different game this is our closest game to Halloween okay. so if fans are interested in dressing up they're more than welcome to um, we will have candy in the Leaps of Laughter Kids Corner, so kids can stop by, grab a piece of candy. We'll also have some Blazers coloring books out there, so Great. if fans don't want their kids to have candy, they can still come and get a treat. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll, we'll be encouraging any fans that are dressed up to to win some of the prizes that yeah. we normally give out. That's typically what we try and do. If we've got an extra dress-up night, then right. it's the prizes that we give out. We try and focus on those who have come to participate yeah. in whatever else Who's is really going on. really come to participate, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Think ahead. <laughs> Get your costume ready. Exactly. Okay, so that's all happening on the 26th. And then um, after that, when is our next home game? Is it not till November? It's November 1st. Okay. So it's Friday, November 1st. And that is going to be our Hockey Fights Cancer Night presented by Safeway. So for that, we're going to have a few different fundraising options mm -hmm. in the building. There will be Plinko by donation at the Safeway booth. And we're also going to try for the first time in a Blazers game, a bucket drop where we hand out buckets oh. and have fans bring cash to donate Good um, idea. To, to the Wheels, of, Wheels for Hope program. Okay. Um, so lots of excitement there so too. Just Bring what you can in terms of cash so Bring you can donate. You can. Okay. Yeah, and if you have change, that's great. We're not looking for large donations there mm -hmm. so much as just to send the buckets all around the rink and, mm -hmm. and we'll see how that goes. And doing something a little bit different. It's always Breast Cancer Awareness Night and we've, yeah. we've moved it to Hockey Fights Cancer to really be all-encompassing and yeah. focus on something different this Definitely. year. So the Wheels for Hope program will be our main focus on that one. Okay, and then um, of quite a few actually uh, home games in that early part of November, right? Yeah, the next weekend we have three games. So we play at home on Friday night. It's oh. Military Appreciation Night okay. on Friday the 8th. We play at home on Saturday the 9th, another 6 p.m. game. And that one is our Remax Presents Nickelodeon night. Oh yeah, and the we will be one. wearing a fun SpongeBob SquarePants jersey for that. <laughs> it looks really cool. I'm really excited for it. I think fans are gonna love it. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the players like wearing them. If that's <laughs> yeah. always fun are for they them, they don't. To this? They I don't get a choice. Yeah. They have to wear no. it for the one game. Um, I remember you and came I, on one time and we we talked about the Ninja Turtle one, and then there was like a, a I don't know a couple of other different ones that yeah, were happening. They're they're fun. I think Paw Patrol fans or like them. They're exciting for kids. Remax does a great job with that sponsorship yeah. night too to just be family focused, kid focused. There's mini sticks that they give out at the door. Nice. Um, if we're lucky we'll get some some mascots, but we're still working through on okay. that one. Yeah. But stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Lots of fun though. That'll be a fun jersey night. And then the last one to touch on is Monday, November 11th. It's a 2 p.m. game, so great for families, yeah. kids to get out. They can get to bed early still. 
And because it's an early game, there will be a skate with the Blazers. Oh, nice. So, so we'll, that happens right after? That happens right after the game. Anyone with a ticket is welcome to participate. If they're going on the ice, they just need a helmet. Mm -hmm. And that takes place nice and early. Excellent. Okay, yeah. so lots coming up. Definitely. It'll be busy for November to get yeah. things started, but... We like to be busy. Yeah, of course we do. <laughs> and the wheels are always turning in Missy's head. What can we do differently next time? Or what can for we sure. do that's going to be fun for this game? So yeah, we really appreciate all the work you put into that. So there's more information on the screen, of course, for the Kamloops Blazers. Get your tickets. Uh, there's lots happening over the next little while. It'll be pretty fun games uh, for everyone to enjoy. Thanks, Missy. We'll check in yeah. with you again soon. Thank you. Oh, quickly. Ooh. Yes, we forgot. Wait a minute. We forgot about the promo. Yes. Okay. Tell us about that quickly. Yeah. Sorry. So no, I almost <laughs> forgot. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> All good. So I am wearing Blazers merchandise. This is a new sweater in the store. But anyone that goes on our website today on the Blazers BlazerHockey.com and goes to the store website can receive 20% off clothing and hats with the promo code MIDDAY20 that's on the screen. Excellent. So that's all you need to punch in is MIDDAY20. That's all you that's need to punch in. 20% off today only. Excellent. Okay. Thanks. Get to the website. Hurry, hurry. Thanks again, Missy. <laughs> We're back in a moment.